Imagine your GPS suddenly dying, your phone, your car, your entire world gone. What if that was just the beginning of a silent war in space? While we worry about everyday disruptions, the stakes are far higher for the military. America's arsenal depends on satellites for navigation, targeting and secure communications. For decades, US power has rested on space dominance. But now that dominance is being challenged, China is developing a new generation of space weapons and for the Pentagon, it's a frantic race against time to prevent a strategic disaster. For the modern US military, space isn't a luxury, it's the bedrock of its global power. Just about every operation on land, at sea and in the air depends on a complex web of satellites for command, control, navigation and intelligence. Losing that high ground wouldn't just be a setback, it would be a strategic collapse. This deep reliance is a critical vulnerability and America's rivals have taken notice. For years, the Pentagon has watched with growing alarm as China rapidly modernizes its military with the explicit goal of controlling the space domain. Top US military intelligence officials have warned that the capability gap between the US and its adversaries is shrinking at an alarming pace. As Vice Chief of Space Operations, General Michael Goodline put it, the US must change how it thinks about space or the advantage could reverse entirely. Beijing has been clear about its ambition to become the world's leading space power by 2045. And while that isn't a foregone conclusion, their rapid progress has the Pentagon on high alert. This isn't just about planting a flag on the moon. It's about gaining the ability to neutralize America's eyes and ears in a future conflict, effectively blinding the most powerful military on Earth. So how exactly could China make the US military go dark? Their strategy is multi-layered, with everything from brute force to surgical strikes. The People's Liberation Army has developed a suite of counter-space weapons, including ground-based missiles capable of destroying satellites in low Earth orbit. They've also fielded powerful ground-based lasers that can disrupt, degrade, or even physically damage satellite sensors. Perhaps the most unnerving development is happening up in orbit. In 2024, the US Space Force observed multiple Chinese satellites from the Xi'an and Xijin series performing complex, synchronized maneuvers. General Guetlin described this as a form of dogfighting in space, a metaphor for satellites practicing how to inspect, stalk, and potentially disable other spacecraft. These rendezvous and proximity operations, or RPOs, demonstrate a sophisticated ability to get close enough to an adversary's satellite to interfere with it, jam its signals, or even physically attack it with a robotic arm. And thanks to China's military civil fusion policy, even technology developed for peaceful purposes, like satellite servicing, can have dual-use military applications. Of course, the United States isn't just standing still. The creation of the US Space Force in 2019 was a direct acknowledgement that space is now a warfighting domain. Its main job is to guarantee space superiority for the joint force, a key part of the American strategy, known as competitive endurance, is to deter aggression while avoiding a conflict that could create catastrophic amounts of space debris. To counter the growing threat, the Space Force is developing its own advanced capabilities. This includes deploying aggressor satellites for live training exercises, allowing US Guardians to practice defending against the very tactics China is rehearsing. There's also a major push for a more resilient and distributed satellite architecture. The idea is simple. A larger constellation of smaller, more numerous satellites is much harder to take down than a few large, exquisite ones. The US is also strengthening alliances, unveiling an international partnership strategy to build a coalition of spacefaring nations dedicated to ensuring the domain remains secure. The goal is to create a united front that makes it clear that aggression in space will not go unchallenged. This new race for space is defining the future of global security. The technologies and strategies being developed today will determine who holds the ultimate high ground for decades to come. The day the US military goes dark remains a nightmare scenario, but the silent war to prevent it is very real and escalating daily. China's rapid advancements in anti-satellite weapons and orbital tactics present a serious threat to the systems that underpin America's national security. While the US Space Force is racing to innovate and build a more defensible and resilient presence in orbit, 
the outcome of this contest is far from certain. This competition for space superiority is not science fiction, it is the new reality of 21st century warfare, and its stakes could not be higher. The battle for space superiority is just beginning, and the strategies and technologies being tested today will shape the wars of tomorrow. But what happens if these confrontations move beyond satellites and into full-blown conflict above our heads? To understand the potential consequences of a true space war and how it could change life on Earth, click the video on your screen now. How will space wars change our future? Thanks for watching.